Hi, this is Ajay Jangid in this video and you are watching Jogi and You. Friends, today I have a question for you which is can you prove this expression is equal to 1 or the value of this expression is something else. So friends, the value we will got after solving this expression, we can prove that the value is 1 or something else. So for solving this, just aside this question here and this is our question. By the way friends, Creative Corner's timeout is back again in a new avatar. It's time to explore your creativity while you learn, so get set to learn something new. So it's a learning festival which is absolutely free for all age from 12 and above. All you need to do is just register in advance and attend all the seasons. Spend a full day with creative professionals, brilliant performers and master of the trade Every scientist, engineer, doctor, magician and artist was once a learner just like you. So give wings to your imagination and learn without limits. Put on your creative hats and get ready for the Unacademy's Time Out 2021. And the most exciting part is you can win a subscription for Creative Corners by submitting us a video of yourself recreating something that you learned in our Time Out seasons. The date is 31st January and the time is 9 am onwards. All the links are given in the description. Go and register yourself. So let's get back to the question. So friends the question we have is x to the power a upon x to the power b the whole bracket to the power a plus b multiplied by x to the power b upon x to the power c the whole bracket to the power b plus c multiplied by x power c upon x power a the whole bracket to the power c plus a and we have to prove that this left side is equal to 1. So for proving this we have this question here. Now just analyze this question. Say this what we have in bracket in first term. We have x power a and x power b. Both are in division. So you know very well what is the rule of power and exponents which is if in divide we have same base but with different power then you should subtract the numerator's power with denominator's power. And we will write it like x to the power a minus b. Similarly, this bracket will be operated same. x to the power b minus c. And here also x to the power c minus a. So convert it according to our rule. Here we got powers in a new form. Now we have a one more rule which is if there is any power on the base that means here we have x to the power a minus b and here power on the power a plus b. And if we have power on the power then it will be multiplied with each other. It's an another rule of power and exponents. So we have 3 times x here and all the 3 are base here. So according to the rule power to power will be multiplied a minus b multiply a plus b and here b minus c multiply b plus c and here c minus a multiply c plus a. So just convert this all just like this. So now see this portion in this form a minus b multiply a plus b. This is our algebraic formula which is a square minus b square. So just convert this a square minus b square. So we can also convert this in the form of b square minus c square according to our formula just like this. And here do the same also just like this. Now a one more rule of power and exponents will be applied here which is if powers are different and base is same and all bases are multiplying then we will do the sum of powers just like this. Now just open all these brackets and we have x to the power a square minus b square plus b square minus c square plus c square minus a square. And these are the power of this base x. We got a very simplest form now a base and some power on it in plus and minus. Now you see this a square and minus a square will be cancelled out and this minus b square and plus b square will be also cancelled out and this minus c square plus c square will also be cancelled out. So everything will be cancelled out. So what we have in power? Nothing. Zero. So we have x to the power zero and the value of x to the power zero is one. The actual expression was in this form. So now it's proved that a given expression is equal to 1. So did you see how simple it was to prove it 1 while a given expression was too complicated. 
so if any of you who wants to write down the question can write down by pausing the video so friends i hope you like this video and if you do then hit the like button subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for such more videos so that's it for today thanks for watching